All right, what's going on, everyone, and welcome back to another video. Fellas, today OnlyFans decided to announce they are going to be stepping away from the adult industry. In fact, they are going to be removing the best part of their website. In my opinion, there's one thing that really makes OnlyFans stand out above the other platforms, such as like Instagram or Facebook. And that's the fact that you can straight up just post your asshole out there on the internet for everyone to see. And honestly, I gotta fucking respect it. Unfortunately, it seems like the website is gonna be running into the same issues that the hub had a couple months ago. If you guys don't remember, essentially, I want to say it was Visa or MasterCard, one of the two credit card companies, they decided to withhold that money from the company so customers weren't going to be able to pay for their subscriptions anymore. I mean, it's simple economics, you know, if you're a business and you're not making any money, you're kind of in a shithole at that point. Anyways, guys, before we get too far into the video, if you happen to enjoy the content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like, and without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. So this article starts off by saying OnlyFans is getting out of the P-word business. Starting in October, the company will prohibit creators from posting material with sexually explicit conduct on its website, which many sex workers use to sell fans explicit content. They'll still be allowed to put up nude photos and videos provided they're consistent with OnlyFans policy, the company said Thursday. So that's where things are starting to get a little bit twisted. I don't like the way they decided to word this document here because at a quick glance it really looks like OnlyFans is just straight up removing all booty pics and everything included. However, that's not necessarily the case. In fact, OnlyFans is just going to be pivoting a little bit in a different direction. So if you go on their website, you look under the rules, you're going to see this. It says incest, bestiality, mm, my fave, violence, R words, lack of consent, hypnosis, intoxication, sexual assault, torture, sadomaso chistis abuse I don't, I don't even know what the hell that is but there's a lot of weird fucks out there man you guys gotta pay attention sometimes hardcore bondage extreme fisting <laughs> extreme fisting why does that sound like an olympic sport holy hell genital mutilation i i truly couldn't imagine anyone watching that and being satisfied good lord dude we ah uh, god damn okay some of these people out here they do not deserve the right to exist i'm sorry also included are going to be escort services, sex trafficking, prostitution, revenge p-word, necrophilia, which is essentially the action of sticking your wiener inside of a dead corpse. Like, come on, seriously. Who the hell is watching that shit and getting off to it? You need mental help if that's you, bro. Urine scatological. I like how they made that sound really, really scientific there. Rather than just calling it fucking poop. Ah, uh, shit, I'm not supposed to say that word. Rather than just calling it, uh, poop videos, okay? They had to throw the word scatological in there. Very, very well done, OnlyFans. And that's also gonna include any other excrement-related material. So hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to say now, is at first, it looks bad, right? It really looks like OnlyFans is wanting to remove the adult content from their website. As you dive deeper into the topic and you do a little bit of your own research, though, you find out that it's really just getting rid of the shit no one really should be watching. I mean, like I said earlier, bro, if you get off to the thought of watching someone straight up cut their goddamn dick off, or some necrophilia shit, or even some goddamn poop in the mouth, you like poop in your mouth, you fucking weirdo? You guys need help. Honestly, you're mentally fucking impaired. Go see someone. Get some professional help, please. The article then goes on to say that popularity also brought with it some additional scrutiny, and OnlyFans is positioning itself more as a forum for musicians, fitness instructors, and chefs rather than sex workers. While many of its most popular creators post videos of themselves engaging in sexual behavior, several mainstream celebrities like Bella Thorne, Cardi B, Tyga have also set up accounts. The changes are needed because of mounting pressure from banking partners partners and payment providers. OnlyFans is trying to raise money from outside investors at a valuation of more than $1 billion, and that's with a goddamn B. So as I was reading this article, I started thinking to myself like, man, it would be a good idea for another company to step up and take the throne right now. Although I don't like it and I don't necessarily agree with it, there has to be a somewhat large audience out there that likes watching some fucked up videos. And here's the thing, alright, I like making money, so this would be a good opportunity 
opportunity to step up to the plate. However, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that's just not going to ever work out. If it didn't work out with a hub, it didn't work out with OnlyFans, what makes you think that payment providers are going to look at you any differently? Because honestly, at that point, it's just a ticking time bomb. Like one day Visa or MasterCard is going to look at your website. And at that point, they're just going to straight up pull the plug. You're not going to be bringing in as much income. Another thing that worries me about this topic is like OnlyFans mentions, they're trying to make their website a little more PG. They're looking to bring in musicians, fitness instructors, and chefs, right? At what point do they just straight up totally remove all adult content? Because I really feel like one day that's going to happen. Let's say you actually get some new viewers on your website, right? They're checking out all these super cool chefs that make really good food. They're watching these musicians that make really good music. And then it just goes to a girl playing with her pussy. Like, you know, a lot of people aren't going to get down like that. I mean, I could only imagine the amount of hazing to come if, like, let's say one day you're hanging out with your boys at his house, right? You're just sitting there scrolling through OnlyFans, checking out these fitness instructors, and then it just goes to, like, some nasty-ass shit, bro. Some BBW granny videos, double fisting, you know, if they somehow get around the, the terms and conditions on the website. Yeah, see, that could be a little bit of a problem, and, like, that's why I suggested Twitch makes two websites, Twitch and Twitch X, you know, one for the thought one for the gamers, all that. That's how I feel like they're going to have to separate things in the future. Or possibly they take a different route. They take an Instagram approach and they just make it to where you can't. You can show the nipple, but it's got to be covered. You know, it's got to be censored to an extent. Either way, it'll be interesting to see how this situation is going to play out. And I'd like to know your guys' opinion down in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the channel consider becoming a member today but more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs with me and i will catch you guys next time later